Following in the ski tracks of his hero, Sir Ernest Shackleton, Henry Worsley was just 30 miles short of his goal when he collapsed. The former SAS officer was airlifted, but doctors were unable to save him. His wife, Joanna, has issued this statement. It is with heartbroken sadness I let you know that my husband, Henry Worsley, has died following complete organ failure. I wish to thank the many hundreds of you who have shown unfailing support to Henry throughout his courageous final challenge and great generosity to the Endeavour Fund. In his last message before rescue, the tone of Henry Worsley's voice said as much as his words. My journey is at an end. I have run out of time, physical endurance, and a simple sheer inability to slide one ski in front of the other to cover the distance required to reach my goal. My summit was just out of reach. But I spent 70 days all alone in a place I love. I'll lick my wounds. They will heal over time. And I'll come to terms with the disappointment. Tragically, that wasn't to be, but he did raise more than £100,000 for the Endeavour Fund for wounded service personnel. It was set up by Princes William and Harry. Today, the Duke of Cambridge said of Henry Worsley, he was a man who showed great courage and determination, and we are incredibly proud to be associated with him. We have lost a friend, but he will remain a source of inspiration to us all. To be on your own for that amount of time, in those severe and harsh conditions, several days of whiteout, several days of you know, terribly low temperatures and really high winds, in order to cover 900 miles, that kind of distance, you have to be an extraordinary human being. 100 years on from Shackleton, the Worsley expedition may not have gone the distance, but it was also a long way from being a failure.